When playing percussion, um, people will go ahead and uh, prefer to begin with uh, snare drum, bass drum, or cymbals because marimba and xylophone require a study of the clefs, notes, uh, and such. Almost similar to piano training um, for marimba and xylophone. So people will go ahead and drive away from that and choose um, single note instruments to make it easy on themselves. In my defense, that's how I began uh, with percussion in middle school and how I continued to do so in high school. However, I was more accepting to marimba and xylophone as time progressed because I knew that if I was to, uh, to pursue music as a career, you, uh, it, it happens to be on diversity uh, and a little bit of variety. That's what percussion is. Uh, to uh, to do uh, begin, I will be playing the majority of the snare drum basics te techniques, ranging from grips, eight, uh, eighth notes, rolls, and such. To do, uh, to play snare drum, there are two grips: um, tra a tradition and match grip. Match grip is actually the uh, easiest of the of the two grips. Why? Because um, it's the most comfortable. In middle school or high school, they're going to teach you that this is match grip. Uh, your thumb is actually going to be holding the, uh, the stick on its side and then you're going to wrap your four fingers in a very in a loose grip. Not too loose so that it'll lose control, but not too tight so that way the stick won't bounce because you need to have the stick bounce. And it's going to be the same way on your right, I mean left, my apologies. And, and that is match grip. Traditional grip is more or less the same. It's, it's the same because your right hand is going to be in the same exact form, but it's all different because your left hand is not going to be. Your left hand is actually going to be like this. Your thumb and pointer fingers are going to be close together but not touching. And then the stick is going to go between your middle finger and then your ring finger. It's very uncomfortable um, oh, and then uh, over time as you use traditional grip, not, um, you're going to get calluses in between your fingers with the way that you're playing. That's why um, I personally prefer to use match grip, um, but you, can, um, you can't shy away from traditional grip because it's going to uh, give you medical pains later on. The way that, uh, that snare drums are played is that it's all in, in the wrist, um, as the common saying is. There is very little arm movement. So as um, you play snare drum, you're actually going to lift and then strike. Lift, strike. Lift, strike. Lift, strike. And you have all the control that you can. See how that there's no bounce? That is because I am stop. Uh, I have to stop the stick as I play. And as the tempo increases. As the tempo increases, you actually have to let the grip loosen a bit in order to achieve the um, the and to achieve the speed. We're gonna go at 100 beats per minute, for example, and go ahead and do eight. This is 100 beats per minute. And then eight is actually an alteration be, uh, between the left and right hands, or four left and four right. And it's the same way for 16 and 30 second notes, just at an increasing tempo. 
I'm going to go ahead and sl uh, do this very slowly so I can show you the difference between the two, uh, between the note differentiations. So this, and this time we're going to use traditional grip for this. So we'll start with quarter notes. Then eights. Switch to match grip. Then sixteens. And then thirty seconds. That tempo speed was about, say, 60, uh, 65, 70 beats per minute. That is, um, uh, for percussionists, you have to keep an internal pulse. And per, um, percussion is going to be the best to do that because it's you that's driving the band. But it's also a bad thing because you can often rush or slow or drive the band. And that's going to cause problems between you and the conductor. Ooh, my apologies. Um, in terms of match grip, it's going to be the same way for mallets in marimba and xylophone. Um, it's going to, uh, uh, except the difference is that you're actually going to hold your sticks right up and then you're, uh, you're going to hit the notes as you're ascending or descending. That's how it works for marimbas and xylophone. Then we also have um, triplets. Um, for snare drum, um, trip, uh, triplets are one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. Um, it's an alteration between the, uh, the right and left hands. Um, the easiest way to do it is to add accents on every downbeat when you start a brand new triplet. I'm going to use traditional grip. And then I'll go ahead and give you a short demonstration. If you look, if you paid attention very closely, you can see the accents are actually up more than the traditional, um, than the traditional um, uh, eighth notes. So to do it again, I'm going to start very slowly uh, at the same level. And then when you go ahead and accent, you're going to go ahead and bring the stick up all the way and then strike. Switch to the left hand. And then you would go ahead and shorten the duration um, to every three notes that's creating the triplets. You always got to try to not be so rough um, when, uh, when playing the drums because not only will it damage the drum, it will damage your sticks. The sticks you can replace easily, but if the drum is school owned, then that's going to be a massive uh, deductible out of your pocket. The next te uh, simple technique is rolls. Rolls are actually the ones that are going to be using uh, a little more hand coordination. I mean, arm coordination. So this is where your arms come into play. We're going to go match grip for this. There are many types of, uh, of buzz rolls. Uh, <clears throat> I'm, uh, my apologies. There are many types of rolls. The first is going to be the buzz roll, which is where you actually go ahead and actually strike the instrument with very little bounce. Um, 
and then it's going to be um, you stick. Uh, my apologies. Um, you strike. Uh, you strike the head, alternating. That is the puzzle. And you can see that the farther I am from the center, the higher pitch that it is. This is more clear, and this is not. The traditional roll is much more looser. Uh, that's when you have a little bit of bounce on your uh, drumsticks. If you see very closely, both of my sticks are bouncing. The right hand more so than the left. We'll do the same thing for traditional grip. Can you see the comparisons between the two rolls? The match grip uh, roll was much more consistent than the traditional grip roll because the left stick doesn't have enough bounce. You have to give the, uh, the left stick in traditional grip much more bounce than the right. And that mainly pertains to having um, your uh, putting all the weight towards your uh, ring and pointer fingers. It's very difficult to do a roll, in my opinion, in the traditional grip. That's why I consistently stay with match grip. Now, I'm going to close off the, uh, the video with a simple exercise. Um, it pertains to having eights and rolls and triplets and rolls at the same time. Um, so the way the exercise works is that um, you're going to start off with eights, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then roll for eight counts, and then do a triplet for eight, and then roll for eight. And you're going to add the accents on, uh, on the triplets. Go ahead and do this in match grip. And here we go.